Welcome guys to another tutorial mode, maybe I'll do this as a weekly thing, I'm not too sure yet, but I'm just doing it in my spare time as I got zero stamina at the moment. That's one way to use your mithril because this video is about how to use mithril and, well not really how you use mithril, but the best ways to use mithril or gems, depending about what you have I guess. Um, if you are a free to play player and you're using mithrils, you're probably questioning yourself is this a pay-to-play game? Well, the short answer is yes, it is a pay-to-play game. I consider a pay-to-play game to be, if you have an unlim unlimited supply of money, can you go so far ahead of the game that it will just thrash the free-to-play players? And yes, that is true. Let's investigate what you can use uh, Mithril or Gems for. Well, today is the daily gem bonus, so basically you can keep refreshing your stamina, because when you use one mithril or 100 gems, you can refresh your stamina to get exp um, not experience, but a full regeneration of stamina. So you can get unlimited experience, you can get unlimited uh, orbs, 3 star orbs or 4 star orbs, depending about what you're farming, and these orbs helped you to get a greater amount of skills, they allow you to hone your skills to use more times in boss fights which are extremely extremely useful even more so than relics because free to play players usually go for these relics as we'll see right here because they'll find out that they don't have really much else to spend their mithril on besides these things because a lot of pay to play players they do these relic draws so often that they get the weapon they want, such as this Vega, I want the bloody Vega, <laughs> but unfortunately they don't because they only have enough mithril to get one rare relic draw times 11 and that's about it and then they consider spending money and they'll be like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try once or twice and they still don't get it and then they end up getting addicted, which a lot of people have been doing unfortunately. Um, very unfortunate for a free-to-play game, and very unfortunate for a game which is really, really good like Final Fantasy. So, what else can you spend your Mithril on? Well, this video is about the best way to spend your Mithril. Um, I was a free-to-play player when I was starting the game, then I started paying when the One-Winged Angel came out. I paid for one... No, two... 11 draws, I believe, and the first re 11 relic draw, I got no 5 stars, and I was that pissed off, so I tried again, and I got the one winged angel. I found out my characters were too weak to go through the rest of the event dungeons, such as, right now, there is the lightning strikes one, which you've probably seen on my channel already, which if you're watching this video, and I couldn't make it up to the end, I only could make it halfway, so I was thinking, yeah, I'll spend another 11 to get armor or something like that, and I got another one-winged angel out of that, so in the end I got two one-winged angels combined it to make a six-star one-winged angel, so I thought that was a good idea, but maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Um, I do like combining my weapons because a lot of weapons you can use separately, if that makes sense, like you always will always have a character using like gloves and one using a different sword or one using a katana or one using a gun or something like that. So everyone uses different armor or different weapons, but armor is more common to distribute towards the people because you only have light armor, normal armor, heavy armor, stuff like that. Anyway, kind of got sidetracked there. What did I spend Mithril on the start? I spent a bit of Mithril on regenerating my stamina. I know it sounds like a really, really stupid idea, but when you have 80 stamina, you can do a lot of classic dungeons which you weren't able to do. And these classic dungeons allow you to get what they call a stamina shard. And when you get these stamina shards, you can regenerate your stamina. So when you refresh your stamina, get it to around 80 or something like that, do a dungeon, you might get another five shards, it will regenerate your stamina again, and you can pretty much do a lot of dungeons that way, which is really helpful, because another thing is, you do get what you get. Let me click on this. 
you get dark orbs or whatever orbs you really want. When you go onto the heroic, however, you get probably better orbs and a lot of them, three greater orbs, which is a lot better than doing these daily orb dungeons. I only suggest you do these daily orb dungeons if you really, 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 really need one type of orb, such as the power orbs, I really find the need for black orbs because they usually help a lot with the common common spells such as, you know, Thundaga, you need black orbs, what else? Also these breaks, I believe you need power orbs as well, let me just check. Yep, you need power orbs for pretty much everything physical, which is kind of annoying, but whoop de doo you have to do it, unfortunately. Um, you can also use orbs to regenerate your characters in an event, say you are in the last stage of the event and your character suddenly die, you can use a, a mithril to regenerate your characters. Yeah, it it's really useful actually, even though it sounds like you're cheating, it's actually very very useful because you may get up to the extra step on getting these rewards. These rewards are extremely, extremely good, such as this Odin one, you get two greater summon orbs, which is, you can't find in normal classic dungeon orbs, uh, dungeon orbs, classic dungeons or heroic dungeons. Uh, you get major orbs, which you cannot get. Um, you get exclusive equipment, general's belt, which you can use pretty much anywhere, and you end up getting even five star equipment such as this ready equipment. I got it here somewhere, but this is from the Final Fantasy 4 one, Gauntlets, which is very, very good. You get 20 defense and 20 res uh, resistance. So it's extremely good if you are on the edge on going towards the next dungeon. So if you're on that edge, edge I would consider spending Mithril just for you to get that reward. The rewards are definitely better than using, say, 5 Mithril to get a Rare Relic. These Rare rel Relics are pretty good, but you'll end up finding, even if you spend, say, 100 Relics on, say, this Vega, uh, sooner or later you'll run into it again, such as, I think, 6 more or 7 more banners later you'll end up finding a Vega with Squall's new Gunblade, and what happens if you do a uh, Times 11 rare relic draw then, you might get duplicates, which is extremely annoying because you'll be like, oh, I already have that one, that's so bloody stupid. Well, I'll tell you what, you shouldn't have been spending mithril on that, or you shouldn't be spending gems on that. You should be just hanging over and waiting for the next one. Um, I think I covered a lot in this, but um, if you have any more questions, maybe I'll do a part two in this video because... It's a very, very delicate topic, because you can do so much with Mithril, so much with gems. Um, unfortunately, like I said, it is pay to play, where if you spend enough money, you can get very, very strong characters, extremely strong characters, where you'll be able to breeze past all these elite dungeons with ease. And you'll get the top characters, top level 65 characters, before anyone else, because you'll be keeping on regenerating that stamina gauge and doing those daily dungeons, getting unlimited orbs and stuff like that. So that is very unfortunate. But other than that, I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe. Hope you like this did I hope you like this video. I hope you like this video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. And maybe I'll do a part two like I said, but I don't know. Um, I'd like to hear your comments down below what you think of this video as well. Um, any criticism really really helps the channel helps this channel grow and helps me realize oh maybe this guy's right maybe i'm wrong and that's probably most of the time that i'm wrong and doing these quests are actually pretty good as well if you can i think i made it up to the best i could but you end up getting mithril from that as well if you haven't noticed and enter these um win a PlayStation 4. No, not really. You probably won't get it. Maybe they'll probably keep it to themselves because there will be people spending $4,000 on this game and end up getting a PlayStation 4 out of it. And they'll be like, wait a second, I spent $4,000. I could have bought 10 PlayStations with that. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time.